Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk a little about how to make games on PC and modern consoles. Up until the end of last year, my only experience making games was with the Mega Drive and SGDK. However, I've always been very curious about how you go about making a game for a PC or modern console. So a few months ago, I started to explore the various options available. I have heard of the likes of Unreal Engine and Unity of course, but both of those seemed a bit overkill for what would be a 16-bit platformer. Instead of trying these kind of high level game engines, I actually went in the opposite direction. I followed some tutorials where they um, directly interface with Windows, so it's a very low level. And that was very interesting, but um, it didn't quite compare to SGDK. Fortunately, I very quickly came across a, you could call it, it's not a game engine, it's more of a development library, which is very similar to SGDK, called Raylib. What gave me the idea to do a little video on this was that in the previous video I saw a few people leave messages saying they have been using Raylib and really enjoying it. So I thought it'd be interesting to discuss Raylib to talk about the differences with SGDK because I think that if you've been enjoying using SGDK over the past couple of years following the tutorials then I think you would really enjoy Raylib too. While Raylib does support many different languages it seems like the main one that people seem to use is C language which is of course the same as what we use in SGDK. I will leave a link to Raylib in the video description below and you can go on to it and it's completely free so you don't have to pay anything. I think they have a donation so if you can then make a donation for shops is really worth it but you can download it and the website is really nice it has lots of good examples that you can follow how to do various stuff like um, title screens and cameras and so on and from my quick browsing of it it does seem that these examples are all in C language as you can see here I haven't got very far in my Raylib exploration I've just done a very simple demo but it's very interesting to put together and to compare how it works with SGDK to be honest working with Raylib almost seems like um, doing SGDK in easy mode because of course you don't have to worry about the Mega Drive's limitations and so on and for example when you load a whether it's a background or a um, or a sprite it doesn't really make the distinctions that we do with the Mega Drive. It, the Mega Drive doing SGDK is very important to distinguish between what's a sprite, what's a background and you need like a, a map function to create the backgrounds from various tiles whereas for um, Raylib you basically just use a 2D texture for both of these um, examples and even with the fade out from fading from black to open and back again all I do is I'll put a big 2D texture, a black texture to fill up the entire screen, the size of the entire screen and then I simply make it more and more transparent until you can see what's behind it. After having spent the past couple of years learning how to do this the hard way on the Mega Drive's limited hardware, doing it in such a seemingly lazy way like this almost feels like cheating. Of course all the various functions are different from SGDK so you have to get used to that so it's not necessarily easy to get started but I think once you get rolling you'll find it um, just as enjoyable as SGDK and like SGDK it, you have to kind of create your own game engine but it takes a lot of the kind of bo boring boilerplate stuff away from you so you don't have to bother with that. And the Radio website also has a very nice uh, list of different functions that you would need to use and plus there's if you do a search on YouTube you should find plenty of uh, smaller tutorials to get started. Apart from PC people have also been adding new functionality to be able to port um, any games produced in Raylib to uh, modern consoles for example the Nintendo Switch. And not only that but people have also been working on trying to do a similar process that, but to port it to uh, older consoles like the N64 and the Dreamcast. On your screen right now you can see a little example on the Dreamcast coded in Raylib by Briol Garcia. Now before anyone gets too excited, unfortunately I don't think at the moment there's any simple port to N64 or port to Dreamcast button for Raylib. So I think it does require some extra work but I know people are working on it so hopefully it's something that will get easy and easier time passes by. Although we all love the Mega Drive of course, most people who make new Mega Drive games also eventually want to port it to PC and modern consoles too so it's more accessible to people. And I think Raylib is really the best option to do this. Those of you who watched my general channel update video last week may recall that we're going to in the near future to start porting and make a remake of Alex Kidd and Shinobi World for the Mega Drive. I know a lot of people who watch these tutorials watch them from the playlist in order so you may have missed this video so I will leave a link in the video description but basically um, Alex Kidd and Shinobi World although it's a very small game it has lots of different mechanics and level gimmicks that makes it very suitable for using as tutorial practice because in the process of remaking it for the Mega Drive I think we're going to learn lots of, learn lots of things for example how to structure a game, how to 
uh, transition from level to level to do how to do title screens, option screens, and all kind of gameplay mechanics like um, slopes and how to do wall jumping and so on. The reaction to this idea has been very positive, so thanks everyone for that. And I've also had lots of people volunteering to um, help with the graphics or music and so on. I really want this to be a community project that everyone does together, so I'm really happy that so many people want to chip in. However, hold that thought for now. In a future video, I will give details on how we can work together and how we can uh, divide the labour for this. As I said in that channel update video, I'm going to wait until the next major SGDK upgrade before starting this project, but in the meantime, I have two or three smaller tutorials that I plan to do over the next uh, few weeks, so keep your eyes peeled for those. And since we're talking about PC ports in today's video, I think once this Addis Kid um, in Shinobi World game is finished, it might be a good idea to have a little mini series where we take the code and assets we wrote for this Addis Kid game and try and port it to PC. And who knows, if things have advanced since then, we may even be able to port it to Dreamcast and other consoles too. And since Radio uses C, we should be able to just copy and paste the basic game logic over into Radio from SGDK. And when it comes, we just have to change the how it interacts with the hardware, so those functions. But I think it should be a quite quick and easy port. But let's get this um, Alice Kid project finished first, and then we'll talk about it then. Okay, so that's about it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm interested in this. And if you'd like to support my work further and get early previews of what I'm up to, then I have a Patreon account and any support is much appreciated. You won't go unrewarded. Until next time. Farewell.